this is Nancy at Notions. We have another vendor that came to teach our retailers at our Notions Commotion event. This is Sharon Lockin' On. Lockin' it. Lockin' in, like walking in. We're gonna remember Lock that. <laughs> Sharon has been with Prima Marketing for 13 years. Yes teaching and designing so many of, with so many of their different um, products. So in particular, the flowers. Right. The flowers are fabulous. Yes. I was amazed to read that all the flowers are handmade. They are. Each right. one. That's each pretty petal. cool. And we cannot keep flowers in stock. They're always That's in, they're always out. Why. <laughs> so buy them when you see them. So yes. Sharon is going to take you through the steps, showing a couple of the cool project products that she used on this project. And then we'll come back and I'll show you, tell you where you can find all of these items. Okay. All right, Sharon demo away. Thank you. All right. So I taught this fabulous class. We were so honored to be invited. Um, and I love Prima products. And what I like to do is take in products from multiple lines that we do. We have a DIY redesign with Prima and that's what I'm going to demo first. I'm going to take our stick and style stencil roll. It's a lot of S's. This was created for home decor and DIY products. But guess what? It works beautifully in paper craft and mixed media. So let me just get our watercolor panel. This is a beautiful little panel with watercolor paper. It's very sturdy. And I am going to create a trendy edge. Waterfall edges are all the rage right now. And um, if you do any home shows, you have those waterfall countertops, right? And we're going to kind of create that look. So I'm cutting off the stick and style stencil. Now, if you're crooked, this peels up very easily. It's repositionable, it's reusable, and the best part is it is sticky. So just press it down in there. You don't want air bubbles. And you know what it's gonna do? It's going to help you get perfect results. A regular stencil, product leaks behind them, right? Um, so we're gonna try and prevent that with this stick and style. So I have a golden nugget paste. This is a brand new paste from Finnevere. She creates a lot of our mixed media products. And um, this is brand new, we just came out with that. And we're gonna add this, I have a spread pal. That is also a new product. It was in our redesign uh, with Prima line. And I love taking some of their tools and bringing it over to our paper craft mixed media because it's fabulous. It's uh, silicone and it's very flexible. It's super easy to use. We're just gonna take this. You can spread your medium as thick or as thin as you like to get more texture, more dimension or less. So I'm doing the side first because then I can just Flip this down and get the top. And again, just get the paste on, spread it. We have a nice margin on the sides right here so that you don't go over. And you can do multiple rows of this paste because the uh, stick and style pattern repeats so you can match it up if you want once one is dry. All right, let's call that good. And what we're gonna do is peel this off. And that's where the magic happens. I like to do the side first. It's just gonna peel up. Now the stick and style works on almost any uh, media. You see that? Because the, the pattern was sticky, you're getting perfect results on that. Look at that. I like to just take my finger and wipe some of the edges if you have pieces sticking out. And then you're gonna let that dry. And the finished result is going to be beautiful. That paste is gonna dry and you're gonna end up with a result like this. So if you can tip that sideways, it, it's beautiful. It has a sandy glitter mix in. That's golden nugget paste and you can see other stencils don't wrap around things like our stick and style stencil does and they give you foolproof results. So what else can you use the stick and style on? Well, you can use it on glass, which I did here. This is with a wax. You can use it on metal, which I did on the cover. So don't throw your jars in the recycling bin. Take the stick and style 
add a little wax and then create a cute little project. This is a paper craft um, ATC box. I just wrapped it around, added some wax on there, and look at that, you got a cute little gift box. Did I say that the stick and style goes around corners? Cause look at this. This stencil work is done with stick and style and chalk paste. So let me just show you. We have different um, products that work well with the stick and style. Chalk paste is a beautiful matte finish product. It is in our redesign line, but you can see the different colors. You can see how it dries matte. I've tried this on multiple um, stick and style designs. Some were spread on with the spread pal, some were brushed on. So you get lots of different looks. These are all created with the chalk paste, the stick and style, and a Primo watercolor paper. So besides the chalk paste, I have mentioned a lot of different products we can use. I just wanna show the wax. So this book was, this is a wood, uh, pressed wood um, base. I took the stick and style and then I just brushed on wax. So you can just take any of Finnevere's new waxes brush them on and get a really pretty uh, look on there. So the wax comes in a cute little tin like that. There's multiple colors, of course. And um, the results are so fun. You can use them by themselves or you can mix them. So that's what I did on these samples. Some of these are uh, redesigned waxes and some are Finnevere waxes. They're just put over the stick and style and then I blended them together. Look at those bold colors. And that one's much softer. So depending on your style, you can go bold, you can go shiny, you can go very, very soft. And look at that, I love that tea rose. That's a really pretty pattern. So these samples are all the stick and style stencil rolls. They do work, this is on Prima watercolor paper. And these are all brushed on with um, the Finnevere and Redesign waxes. So lots of choices. That's another great product to use with the stick and style. But we're not done, we're not done. We have even more. So we have um, icing paste. Now this is a Finnevere product. It comes in multiple colors and it's shiny. So where the chalk paste dries matte, the icing paste is gonna glimmer and shimmer a little bit for you. So this, I, I took two colors and I just randomly put them on here and then spread them to kind of create that ombre mixed effect. This one was brushed on. So you can brush your icing paste, you can use the spread pal, you get multiple results with the exact same product. Okay, we might even have, are we good? Oh, the golden nugget paste. Let me just show you. We came out with two new pastes. So this is the one I just demoed. It dries with that beautiful brown sand and black glitter in there. But you can also put it on a black surface. So this is on black gesso and then on just the regular white watercolor paper. Beautiful results, look at that. We came out with a second paste though. It's a little magical. That's called unicorn paste. So if you're looking for two new pastes to try, the unicorn and golden nugget are perfect. And now these are demos. So um, this one looks a bit colored. I took the stick and style right after I used the wax on it and I went over it with the unicorn paste and it pulled off a little bit of that wax color. All right, so lots of different um, types, the golden paste and the unicorn paste. There's the unicorn on black and then on white again, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now this was done over a regular stencil. So of course you can use it on regular stencils or you can use it on the stick and style. So do we want to demo again? We want to try another product. I think we mm -hmm. should take the stick and style and um, let's, you want to try wax? Let's try the waxes. So I'm just gonna pull off a piece. We'll get into a new section here. Trim off what you need. You totally can use this over again. I wipe it down with a wet wipe and I just let it dry and then it's ready to use again. I'm gonna take our stencil brushes. 
we'll take our stencil brushes and I'm gonna pull out a couple waxes. And I think the bold colors show up the best when you're demoing. So let's go with this really bold purple. You have to excuse them. I've been using these in class, so, and look at that. So some of these colors are brand new and we're just gonna dab a little bit on our brush. I double check it and then I swirl it around in the lid. That helps disperse the, the wax so that it's not lumpy and clumpy. And we're just gonna go right in here. And what I'm doing is creating multiple areas with the purple because guess what I'm gonna do? I am gonna go back in with the pink and then blend them together. So I've left enough room to grab the pink Swirl it again, let me get my lid. So keep that little insert in there. It helps keep your wax um, more fresh and you can swirl better in there. So what I'm gonna do is just cross into the purple a little bit. That's gonna give me a nice blended area. You see how fast these waxes go on? The, because the stick and style is glossy, this just glides over it. Oops, I may have gone outside the line. You will not do that at home though. All right, so here's the magical part. We're just gonna pull this up. And again, because it's sticky, there should be no leakage. You're gonna get crisp, clean results. Look at that. And I can wipe this off right away with a wet wipe and reuse it again. It stays sticky up to eight to 10 times on paper. So this is Stick and Style, and it's a brand new product for Prima Marketing. It's um, in our redesign line. Notions has all six of our styles, so make sure you grab the Stick and Style, grab some of our art mediums, and then just play and have fun. All right, so we were talking about the waxes in Stick and Style, which we referenced here. There's different waxes blended together with a, using a stencil brush and our Stick and Style. But let me show you another way to use our waxes. I told you these work on glass, metal, wood, resin. Well, I have some of Finnevere's um, butterflies. Now this one's already colored, so I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So I'm gonna use a stencil brush first, and what that will do is give you full coverage. There may be a little pink in there, so if we get a pinky gold butterfly, that's all good. This is gonna give you full coverage. It's, it's not gonna leave any of that original color. Look at that, totally changed your embellishment. And with the selection of metals, we have white gold, brushed iron, aged brass, rose gold, vintage gold, so many, you can change your embellishments any color you want. But once you do that, then come back with a second color and add accents. And that's what I like to do. For that, I'm gonna use my finger. You're just gonna soften it up a little bit and you're gonna barely touch those raised embossed edges. And look at the magic happen. So you're catching Anything that's embossed is perfect for this. It's catching those little design details. Again, you can put as much or as little as you want on there. And you don't have to stop with just two. You could totally come in with a third color and maybe let's just touch the wing tips with this pink. This is so much fun. Okay, you can totally do whatever you want. You colorize your embellishments um, to match your page. If you get too much, grab a wet wipe. It'll pull most of that off of there. And then you're gonna let this dry. The wax cures itself, it seals itself. When it's dry, you will not be able to rub that off. So it won't be blendable once it's dry. So like this, it's, it's on there, it's set. So these are Finnevere waxes. And her butterflies, they come in metallic tones, they come in fashion colors, they're great for coloring wood, metal, resin, glass, plastic, paper. Just about anything. Right? Yep. Yes. So they did use that. Sharon had the class doing it today. This is the project they made at the Notions Commotion event. So you can see where she used the stick and style and the golden nugget. She did the butterfly with the um, 
the, me- the waxes, the waxes yes. and then of course all of the beautiful prima flowers yes. they're all over it so this is the project that they did so if you are a retailer you can now download the supply list used so that you could create this in your store for your customers if you're a consumer now is when you call your favorite retail store and go i just saw a video from notions marketing with sharon in it and she was talking about these waxes on metal and the the sticky stencil and all these different things can you get that product for me well of course you can get that product we can for do me. that so sharon yes. thank you very you're much you're welcome for coming thank to the notions promotion us. our event got... has just been so busy and very messy fingers. <laughs> so this has been really really fun we'll talk to you soon thank you